For the past two months, Jersey police have been reassessing the evidence found at the former children's home, Hope de la Grenne. It's the first time these twisted bits of metal have been filmed. It was thought they were shackles. The new senior investigating officer, Mick Bradwell, is sceptical. And this is what has been called a restraint. I mean, I would say that's kind of possibly a bed spring. These um, have been brought in as, um, as maybe potentially shackles, but again, when you, you start to date them, it's difficult to say what they are. They're rusting metal, uh, 1800s, and no matter how much you kind of put two, the two together, yeah. there is still nothing suspicious about these, these two uh, items at all. So you would never have presented that to the as a restraint? I wouldn't present it to anybody as a restraint. It is a... Um, a rusting piece of metal found in rubble, and, and that's what that is. It was a suggestion that children had been shackled and murdered at Haute de la Garenne decades ago that led to a media scrum in the island back in February. Over the following months, a painstaking forensic search took place, at times a building being taken apart brick by brick. Bone fragments and milk teeth were found, but many questions remained unanswered. Jersey police continue to vigorously pursue allegations of physical and sexual abuse in the island. But these latest revelations could prove an unwelcome distraction from the investigation. Louise Hubble, BBC News, Jersey.